Hello everyone, this is Priyanka. Welcome to my channel Priyanka's IT School. Today I am sharing second tutorial on software testing. In first tutorial, I have discussed basics of software application. To become tester, you should know basics first. In this tutorial, I am going to explain project team structure. So let's understand organization project team members and their roles and responsibilities. Very first, what is meant by project team? So project team is a group of people responsible for creating a software application. It consists multiple human resources, each having some kind of roles and responsibilities in the project. So let's see one by one each and every team member and their roles and responsibilities. Okay. So very first, uh, we have discussed in first tutorial that every IT project is client requirement. So whenever client required to develop any software application, client will simply reach out to software development organization with its all requirement. And software development organization is responsible to gather all client uh, requirement. They are responsible to analyze entire client requirement. So question is who is responsible to directly communicate uh, with the client and who is responsible to gather all client requirement so the first team member is business analyst okay we can say it as a BA BA is a person whose role is to uh, study entire existing system gather client requirements study entire business process and identify gap to be bridged now business analyst act as an interface between client and project team and uh, we can say uh, this is because requirement is a key point and based on requirement only entire software development and testing process start. So business analyst role is to document scope and requirement. Again, business analyst is also support in user acceptance testing. So one more term we have that is UAT here. UAT that is all about user acceptance testing. Uh, see, whenever any IT organization wants to deliver any software to the client, so at that time, client need to test uh, that software, whether that software is as, uh, as per his requirement or not, you know. So, can I say client is responsible to conduct UAT? We will see details on this UAT in our future tutorial. Uh, again, one more point business analyst okay so the role of business analyst so in product based companies ba is a person who who analyze market requirements okay and in service based companies people called it as product owner or we can say product manager now there is a question what is exactly meaning of service based companies and product based companies so guys in previous tutorial we have discussed two important service models first one is project and second one is product. What is mean by project and what is mean by product? So let's see. Uh, whenever software application is developed for specific client or for specific customer, then that is all about the project, right? And uh, we can say example like any kind of bank application, any kind of website or specific website. So companies who develop project are nothing but service based companies. Okay, so companies who develop project are nothing but service based companies. Now, what is mean by product? So here, sometimes companies takes a, I mean, survey of market and as per market need, they develop application. So that is the product, right? So companies who develop products are nothing but product based companies. Okay. So companies who developed products are nothing but product based companies. Now, uh, we have some example. Let's see. Uh, for service based companies, we can say TCS, Accenture, Wipro are the example of service based companies. And uh, we can say Microsoft, Google, I IBM are example of product based companies. Okay. So this is all about BA who is responsible to gather all client requirements and uh, again conduct some kind of feasibility studies on those requirement and uh, BA act you know act as an interface between uh, client and team member. Now next team member is project manager. 
project manager is responsible to identify project objectives and uh, identify project milestones again he is responsible to develop entire project plan so project plan uh, can i say it is all about we state uh, road map about entire software development project manager is also responsible for managing project stakeholders and project team so as for the client or stakeholder they need to i mean project manager uh, you know is responsible to manage entire project risk okay a uh, scope it, if it change as per the requirement or if it change by client and again uh, he is responsible to manage entire scheduling and budget too okay so this is all about project manager we have third team member that is technical architect technical architect is responsible to provide technical expertise uh, we can say to review design documents to review entire code right technical architect will uh, review all kind of designs and the code again uh, finalize technical implementation details okay uh, he is responsible to finalize entire, entire technical you know implementation details so we have fourth important team member that is ui designer ui designer uh, so ui ui term means user interface right so ui designer designs user interface architecture for an effective user interface okay as we can say uh, as he can design uh, graphics then develop navigational maps then ui designer work with developer to ensure feasibility of entire design so the next important role we have or team member we have that is developer developer that is can can we say is nothing but programmer right so developer is programmer or we can say developer is responsible to develop application as per client requirement so developer is not only responsible to develop code uh, or we can say software but he is responsible to uh, what you can say to test his own code okay and maintaining code too so developer actual involves in debugging uh, what is debugging can i say debugging is a complete development process okay where uh, they can simply reach out they can simply identify root cause of the problem and they simply fix that entire problem now so developer is responsible to develop application as per the client need or as per the client required technology now next team member is tester so tester is responsible to test software application and confirm that software is doing what it is supposed to do so tester test software application and identify gap in terms of defect from that application now here we have a important term that is defect let's see what is mean by defect okay so defect is nothing but any flaw in software system where there is a difference between expected and actual result okay so whenever there is a difference between expected and actual result so that difference we can consider as a defect so let's see what is exactly mean by expected and actual result expected result okay we can say expected result see expected result means client requirement and actual result means software response software output or software result okay so whenever there is a difference in expected result that is a client requirement and actual response or result of the software then that difference referred as defect okay example client requirement is uh, with valid credentials login should be done successfully but if in application okay if when user enter valid credentials login fail so can i say there is a defect present right and what is that so defect is authentication issue so tester is a person who actually responsible to access quality by testing software application and identifying defect from application right and again after finding defect fixing that defect from development team so uh, can i say tester is responsible for uh, assessing the quality in software application so we will see testing and tester responsibilities in detail okay this is all about entire project team 
members and entire team structure now guys in this project team common responsibilities are team communication and status reporting again review as for as you know as per the requirement so this is all about entire project team members team structures and their roles and responsibility so that's all for this video please do subscribe and like my video thanks for watching